Sure. But we're thrilled that you have, are here. So, because Rosie, you're, you're, I think we're in quite the moment. You're, you are on fire right now. You've well, been shooting the new season of The L Word. Yes. Okay, you did your first. <laughs> I'm talking to you about this. Yeah. That's okay. You did your first gay love scene the My other day. My first you, gay love scene. Have you done many love scenes before? I've done three. Okay. All with men. Right. And so there was a lot of acting involved yes. for me. <laughs> you know. And it felt like something new, so yeah. it, I wasn't really intimidated. Sure. But with this, I'm like, you want me to do this with a woman like I actually do? And my, you want me to show you my moves? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't think that that meme, my kid could live down that meme, you know? My four tw kids in their 20s. Yeah. They're like, Mom, please, no sex scenes. What are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. But it was OK? You got through it? I got through it. I got a lot of advice from a lot of people. And, you know, once. Who, who'd you go to advice for for such a thing? Well, all of the young lesbians on that show, yeah, right. they're, they're having sex every five minutes on that show. It's the first time they've had a 60-year-old woman in bed doing it, you know? And they were like, oh, is that how the old people do it? I'm like, yeah, that's how we used to do it in yes, the day. Yes, with yeah. regular breaks. Exactly, yes. exactly. Now, Ugaj, I'm so happy you're here. You're, you're not only an incredibly talented actor, you are a very, very talented rapper. And we've got a picture here of your first ever up, Guillermo? CD. We used, to, we used to perform back in the day in uh, New York together. Many, many. You and Guillermo? And Musical. Reggie and I did a pilot for uh, PBS. Oh, that's right. Before Lynn got famous. It was the three of us that's, doing The Electric Company. That is right. We, we, Lynn wow. Manuel Miranda. Yeah, that guy. Well, you've had quite the... the legend. You've had quite the, 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 the past, because look at this. We've got this photo here of your first ever CD cover, um, which is called UTI. Now... <laughs> Yeah. Is Talk it? me through all Is of it this. Really? It's self-titled. Walk... <laughs> Walk me through the whole okay. thought of the creative here, Utkarsh. So, well, back in the day, they, they used to call me Utkarsh the Incredible. And I was like, this is great. I should make an acronym, and UTI is the way to go. Mm. I didn't have a lot of money. I went to Kinko's, as we used to do. I pressed up maybe two to 500 CDs. And then I showed it to my girlfriend, and she was like, yo, what have you done? Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, well, I don't have any money to fix this, so we're just going to go with it. But I, I thought it was very cool, me in the canoe, my rap album, with the cigarette in my mouth. Yeah, it's under you. I will say it's underused, the canoe, in rap albums. I agree. <laughs> I, was I, I wish more rappers would be more honest yeah. about their use of canoes. Yeah. yeah, and just to double down, the first track I, I'm just realizing is called You, The I. So I just, I really just didn't see at all. You, yeah. The Infection. Yeah, it looks you... a little like swamp people, too, doesn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a crocodile could come up at any minute. Right, yeah. and my uh, it's blurred out, thank God, but that is my personal home phone number that I still have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Above the MySpace page. Guys, follow my lead. <laughs> Let me know. Now, Marcus, you are, you're very comfortable uh, around celebrated actors. Obviously, your, your partner, Carrie Mulligan, is a two-time Oscar nominee, which makes me ask the question, why is it then you who have a tattoo of an Academy Award on your body? Well, we're in, we're in lockdown in COVID. Mm. She's supposed to have a film come out, like, after the awards are over and stuff, because it was not supposed to be an awards film. It's called Promising Young Woman. Yes, and it's, it's very brilliant. Good. Very yes. good. Very good. No expectations. No expectations for it to be an awards conversation. But COVID comes, it gets pushed back. It comes out around all the awards films. And then suddenly there's all this chat about it. And it became this anxiety in our household. Because mm. now there's pressure to get nominated, where mm. there wasn't before. Right. And so I said, let's make it fun. Let's have a tattoo bet. If you don't get nominated, you have to be branded with your failure for the rest of your life. <laughs> you get an Oscar tattoo. And everyone will say, oh, is that for when you were nominated for an education? And she'll say, no, it's for when I wasn't nominated. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's a punishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And she did get nominated, so I got the tattoo. So, you, so her, her getting nominated meant that you had to play the forfeit and you yeah. can we see it? Uh, is it a place in your you, body where we'd be able to see yeah, such no, a I thing? Do you need it. help? Yeah, no, I think it's here. Stand by, hold. Oh look, there it is, look, just on the shoulder there. Can we get that? Right. Have you got that? That little guy. There it is, the Academy Awards. Look at that. <laughs> or a really messed up Bobby thing. <laughs> <laughs> what did you Rose say? Just went, I went, there's the Academy Award. And Rose said, or a really messed up bobby pin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's got an abstract You can make shape. that into any story you want, <laughs> I think. Now, Rosie, let's talk about and congratulate you on American Gigolo. It's the, re the reimagining of the Richard Gere movie. Yes. From the 80s. For anyone else in court yet, tell us what it's about and who you play. I play Detective Sunday, who's the cop who originally forced a confession out of the uh, John Barenthal character, which was played by Richard Gere in the movie. And so I go to a prison and tell him, you're out, and do you want to help me find who set you up? And he pretty much says no, and I try to convince him. And we try to solve a couple murders along the way, and I think people are enjoying it, and it's on Showtime. There it is. Let's take a look at the clip.